so powerful. Yeah. And so you're kind of looking for this way. Right? As the main one, but then I'll go here, I'll go here. Just to make sure. Exactly. I'm just trying the technique yeah, and yeah, what I can do. The technique, yeah. You try, you try. You try, I like it. And you can think about it much yeah. more as place than power, right? Because yeah. even if it's right here, I can technically speed it up by just placing it. I just uh -huh. So it. really just try to roll it in. Yeah. It's too slow, that's fine. Yeah. You're just trying to get that yeah. up yeah. and down. So when you do your roll, you start in the title low. Really low. You finish about one o'clock. As, uh, yeah, I go at like full rhythm. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Nice. No, that's how hard they should be. Yeah. Because you're gonna make all those, and I have the disadvantage. I can do a pretty soft shot yeah. that you just pummel on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the important. I think we try to hit it too hard. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really. yeah. Okay, I want to switch and try yeah. the other side. Yeah. Okay. So I'll stay here. Yeah. Crossword. The same thing. Just go for the out of the air speed up. Get a feel for how it works. I try to hit them high. There it is. There it is. You have the rip now. Once you finish it, you want to be right back here ready to attack because your intention what, is to hit what did I, what did I do? So you went all the way and then you kind of went back to normal ready position. Yeah. Because you're in a hand battle, you want to flick and be right back to ready to attack. Okay. So get like, after you finish the flick, get, get back as, as quick as you can to the normal position because your next shot should be right down. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to get a little higher because most of mine are getting exactly. low. Exactly. It's like it's better to be low, right? Yeah. I mean, that shot, if if we were just drilling and you fed shots, it's like an averagely high shot on a fork. It's a pretty average shot. But it's a speed up. So yeah. I don't know where you're going. And right. you can't catch you're here. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Ah. 
Terry's trying to tell me, no, Terry Oh, yeah. He's trying to tell me to just do this, and it's like, it's a little too, too much time. If you have enough time to do this, then you have enough time to probably take the ball down. Uh -huh. If it's too, um, if it's too low to do this effectively, then you probably should just be going hard back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. ready for that second or third. Yeah, so your paddle yeah. skill is ending up over here after you hit. Yeah. This is where it should be at first. You should be really quick. Really quick. Back yeah. here. I can feel it. Yeah, yeah. Nice. That was down low. That's a really good example. Is, yeah, you didn't hit the, the fastest shot to me, yeah. but you, you 
got it early and got it down, that's the advantage. Right. The risk is you're late to it, you right. miss with something. Yeah. As long as you keep a low advantage, you're in. You're, in, you're gonna get the Exactly, you're, you're, you're still winning that game. So he went too far down. Just keep yeah, down he was trying to be too aggressive. Oh, got I, gotta, I gotta win the point. Got okay, it. no, it's fine. It's still going, but he's farther back, so I can push got it. Me. Yeah. The same thing. I'm gonna speed off once you. Just trying to flick everything. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah. That's yeah. Good 
Nice, great play, side of the gas. Too much, too much. Nice. Other thing is, like I was saying before, the backhand is the default hands, right? Because you can cover everything with the yeah. backhand, the forehand's kind of stuck. Yeah. So once you aggress, you should be default to your forehand or to your yeah. backhand. You're going middle, which means that now you have you're you need to take more time to okay. to your backhand. Go backhand only. Okay. And then worst case I get it high to your forehand okay. and you have time to come. Okay. Away. Got it. So stick to that back and watch these two up. Yeah, perfect. I was down there, right? Yeah. Before it's up here. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, I had more time because I was this way. Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. Nice, right? Good try. So, right, when it's this far over to your forehand almost, you really got to get over a lot. Just put the back in. So you're kind of like at your forehand almost trying to mm -hmm, pop it, mm -hmm. but it's, it's, it's making it hard okay. to do the flip. So I would say that's probably the forehand. Okay. I mean, that's why when I'm standing up against you, it's the hardest. But if he's standing up to me, then he's on offense. Yeah. He doesn't have to worry about okay. it. So when you're getting back here, you're, you're more kind of level fun. I'm still guessing here because I put my body in a place where you kind of have to get to my back end. Um, in this place, you sort of have to guess. Yeah. Like, I can cover almost everything because I'm staying, standing in a way where, like, but you really do. Yeah. Yeah. To the left. Exactly. But if he beats me and hits it like right here, yeah. I'm, I'm probably done. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> and also, what am I doing by stepping back? I get more time. Yeah. So I have more time to switch my knees. Try the forehand side now, or do you feel sure. good on the backhand? Yeah. Sure. Okay. So most people like that backhand mm -hmm. speed up, 
and forehand off the bounce right. If you're on the forehand side and you're a righty, you're not really going to get a lot of high forehands because usually that's your partner taking them. So the, the general idea is you're usually going out of the air on this side, either the backhand or the, the super obvious forehand in the middle. Or on this side, you're doing a forehand bounce. Yeah, yeah exactly. Do you guys have a kind of a shot you like to hit from this side of the court? Do you usually play left side or any? We mix it, we mix it up. Okay. I think lately I've been more on the backhand side. I mean, I've been up more on the left Okay. Yeah, um, that's the way we'll start, and then we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so let's do that. I can be on one side, and you guys can see how you are stacked usually. So how, I mean, obviously it differs. How most top teams play, how this side player on the left has more attacks, right? Because you have the ball in the middle. Okay, so let me try. I'll be one versus two, and I'll think to you guys, see how you play four okay. sides, see what attacks you yeah. So I'll be cross court. That way you can keep doing that speed if you want to. Okay. Um, obviously, now we're also going to have the middle. He should take some in the middle yeah. if you can. And we're probably going to be doing primarily forehand and forehand. Okay. off the bounce you have to kind of show you what it looks like. Yeah. I think it makes more sense for you to work on that if you're the left side player here. Yeah. Uh, but we can do both. Yeah, yeah. Both can work on it. So keep doing the same thing. You get them all the time. That one, that one only worked because I had time. So I made you guess and I held it. That's all I'm doing. So that's the advantage of the foreign speed up. Is we'll have a lot of these cross court rallies where I have a lot of time. Same thing. I'm not sure what you did. <laughs> I saw, but I don't know. So basically, the, the point here, right, is yeah. there's mostly aggression from this player, right? Because he has the four in the middle. You are going to really only have time on yeah. this cross court bounce rally. So when you have enough time, um, take a step back, hold your cuddle, make us guess where you're going, okay. and pick a place. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Really good. 
step back. Exactly. That was my step back. Exactly. <laughs> like you've already done, you're really never going to meet. You're either going yeah. wide, body, or middle. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so do you think it's better to aim for body, try to go through the player, or try to aim for his body? Um, it totally depends on the shot. So if it's like a hands battle where you're speeding up at someone just to beat them yeah. in hands, like what we were just doing there, go body. Because the closer you get to me, the harder it's going to get it back. If you go hands where it's here, like I'm here, especially because that speed up isn't necessarily a power tip, it's just placement. Yeah. If you place me here, right, I right, want right. to This is different. This is literally like my, my advantage if I'm making steps. So it doesn't matter where you go. Exactly. Yeah. Just beat him. Yeah. Once in three times, he'll beat you and he'll win the point. But if you have the time advantage, you should win two out of three. Okay. That's yeah. what I You should only speed up when you are stable yeah. and you have maximum Yeah, yeah, that one you were kind of moving backwards. Yeah, yeah.
But I guess you, when you were saying let it bounce and step back, I guess when you fit, you, when you attack, you got to yeah. be like that. It's still super compact, but yes. you end up forward. Yeah. So what is your footwork when you're going to speed up? On the, on the forward side, I open up my body, so I have more options. From here, I can't really speed up as effectively. Right. There, my angles are kind of limited. Well, show me your swing. Yeah. So I, I, this is all fancy. The swing is this, and then I'm here. So I turn back around, I'm facing you, and just come to win the hand. Lucky. Focus on placing more. Oh. Boom, see how low that is back yeah. down? That's the top. It's not that hard, but it's just it's got some bend. Yeah, left. Yeah, 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 it's just, just do that. that. Just do that shot. Oh. Yeah, you know, what it bounces, it's Came back pretty slow though. You know, could you just give a quick summary of what we did, what you, what you said? Sure. Um, yeah, so we're talking about different speed ups from the kitchen. The main theme is what speed ups you hit. So on the left side, as a right handed player, the left side I have my backhand, the forehand in the middle. That player is doing most of the speed ups. They're either going to speed it up out of the air from the backhand or out of the air from the forehand. And the player on the right side is usually playing more conservatively, so back and forth. And that's where you have the opportunity to go off the bounce with the speed up. And you only speed up off the bounce when you have time. So you're taking a step back, making your opponent guess, and taking advantage of your time advantage um, when you speed up. And then the second thing we talked about was once you do that speed up, whether it's out of the air or off the bounce, you've got to get right back to win the hands battle and be ready right away because the goal of it is a setup attack, not a put away. So speed up and then you're right here with the backhand ready to punch it down. 
Okay. Awesome. Thanks.